Summit Hydraulics LS Tractor, Third Function Valve Kit, Installation Video The remote valve kit is designed to work with the following LS Tractor models. The tractor shown in this video might not match your exact model. The following parts are included with your assembly. For any replacement parts, or hardware, please refer to contact at summit-hydraulics.com. For all included parts, and hardware, please refer to the instructional manual. The following tools are recommended for this installation. We recommend using a torque wrench when tightening, instead of an impact wrench. Please torque to the specifications shown in the instructions. Initial preparations. Before you begin the installation, please make sure to read the instructional manual thoroughly, as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. The following safety steps need to be followed prior to installation of this valve kit. First, park the tractor on a flat surface. Place gear shift lever in park. Turn off engine and remove the ignition key. Second, place chocks in front and behind tractor's left rear wheel. After the tractor is secured, locate the hardware and lubricate all threads and O-rings with hydraulic fluid. We recommend that all Summit Hydraulics products be installed by an experienced professional. Step 1. Initial Assembly Begin by locating the valve assembly. There is a cardboard plate on the bottom of the valve assembly, held in place by four plastic inserts. Remove the inserts, and discard the cardboard plate. After removing the cardboard plate, insert the four Allen screws through the top holes, as shown. Locate, and attach the manifold. Ensure the P on the valve is aligned with the pinhole on the manifold, and push the valves into place. Make sure the screws match the manifold holes, and fully tighten the screws using an Allen wrench. Torque the screws to 2 foot-pounds. Next, install two, part three adapters, into both A and B ports on the valve assembly. Tighten the adapters using an open-end wrench. On the opposite side, install two, part five adapters, into both P and T ports. Tighten the adapters using an open-end wrench. Take care not to over-tighten. Next, install two, part 12 couplers, onto both, part three adapters. Tighten the couplers using an open-end wrench. Turn the valve assembly with the P and T ports facing down, and attach the valve bracket, part 1, as shown. Secure the valve onto the bracket using two, part 2, socket head screws. Fully tighten the screws using an Allen wrench. Torque the screws to 12 foot-pounds. Take care not to over-tighten. Step 2, Valve Installation. Begin by locating the loader arm frame on the right side of the LS tractor. Locate the two through holes on the loader arm. Next, install two, part 18 valve mount bracket spacers, to the loader arm frame through holes. Install the provided hardware to mount the valve bracket, and spacers onto the tractor loader arm. Install four washers, four split spacers, two bolts, and two nuts to the loader arm frame through holes. Fully tighten the hardware using an open-end wrench. Torque the provided hardware to 20 foot-pounds. Step 3. Pressure and return line installation. Please note, if you have not already, place chocks in front and behind tractor's left rear wheel. Loosen the lug nuts on the right rear wheel. Do not remove the lug nuts yet. Lift the tractor to a safe height using the recommended factory lift points. Make sure to place safety jack stands where the factory recommends. Once tractor is safely lifted, remove the lug nuts and the right rear wheel. Follow factory procedures to remove the inner fender to expose all of the hydraulic lines. Next, locate the hydraulic manifold connected to the tractor, and identify the power beyond port on the hydraulic manifold. This power beyond port is the P pressure port. A steel line is connected to the power beyond port on the hydraulic manifold. This steel line can be traced to the return to tank port on the tractor. This return to tank port is the T tank port. Follow factory recommended procedures to remove this hydraulic steel line from the power beyond pressure port P to the return to tank port T. Identify the pressure line part 9. Install the pressure line to the valve assembly. 
Install part 17, BSPP mail with bonded seal adapter onto the hydraulic manifold power beyond pressure port, P. Route the hydraulic pressure line towards the hydraulic manifold and towards the power beyond pressure port. Install the hydraulic pressure line onto the BSPP mail with bonded seal adapter. Fully tighten the hydraulic line using an open-end wrench. Take care not to over-tighten. Next, identify the return to tank line, part 16. Install the return to tank line to the valve assembly. Install part 17, BSPP mail with bonded seal adapter onto the return to tank port, T. Route the hydraulic return to tank line towards the tank port located underneath the seat. Install the hydraulic pressure line onto the BSPP mail with bonded seal adapter. Fully tighten the hydraulic line using an open-end wrench. Using the provided zip tie, secure the pressure and tank lines to minimize movement during tractor operation. We recommend securing all hydraulic oil lines to the factory hydraulic hard line. Follow factory procedure to reinstall the tractor wheel. Step 4. Cross Beam Coupler Mount Begin by locating the loader crossbeam bracket, part 7. Next, install two, part 8 adapters, 3 8 inch bulkheads, to loader crossbeam bracket. Install the adapters as shown, with the nuts facing the flat side of the crossbeam bracket. Tighten the adapters using an open-end wrench. Next, attach one male, part 12 coupler, and one female, part 13 coupler onto the adapters. Tighten the couplers using an open-end wrench, and take care not to over-tighten. Proceed by locating the right side of the loader arm crossbeam. Locate the loader arm crossbeam. Matching the bolt hole on the loader arm, attach the loader crossbeam bracket as shown, using the factory existing hardware. Fully tighten using an open-end wrench. The A and B work lines will need to be routed along the loader arm, and attached to both the third function valve and to the bulkhead adapters. Next, locate the A and B work lines. Locate the straight ends, and install the two, part 4 male JIC to NPT adapters, onto the A and B work lines. Fully tighten using an open-end wrench. Take care not to over-tighten. Install the two, part 13 female ISO A couplers, onto the two, part 4 male JIC to NPT adapters. Fully tighten using an open-end wrench. Next, route the two A and B work lines along the loader arm, and towards the third function valve. Install the A and B work lines to the NPT bulkhead adapter. Connect the two female couplers on the A and B work lines to the two male couplers on the third function valve. Secure hydraulic hoses to the factory hard line alongside the loader arm with zip ties as needed. Extend the loader at different angles, to ensure zero binding is occurring with the A and B work lines hydraulic hoses. Step 5, Joystick Switch Installation Begin by removing the existing knob from end of the control lever. Rotate, and remove the knob. Next, attach the joystick handle switch. Using the provided Allen wrench, loosen the four tightening bolts on the side of the joystick handle switch. The joystick bottom has an adjustable bushing, and can be adjusted as needed to obtain a rough fit. Slide the bushing over the control lever, and tighten the bolts on the side of the joystick handle switch. Orient the handle as needed that works best for you, and then fully tighten. Run the wire alongside the control lever, and feed the wire through the boot. Slide the boot off, and feed all wiring through the boot. Slide the wiring down through the loader valve cover. Take care not to pinch or cut the cables. Next, connect the plastic Deutsch connectors on the wiring harness, to the valve body. There are ports on the valve body. Secure, and clip the connectors in place. The connector should easily connect, and clip in place. Properly route the wiring, and use zip ties to secure the routing in place. Next, attach harness Deutsch connector to switch Deutsch connector. The connector should easily fit, and clip into place. After all wiring is in place, you will need access to the battery. Remove the front cover as needed. Finally, connect the power and ground cables to the battery. Connect the black ground terminal end to the battery's negative post, and connect the red positive terminal end to the battery's positive post. Tighten as needed. Before continuing, double check the joystick switch is working properly. Congratulations! Installation of the LS tractor, third function valve kit, is now complete. You may now proceed, and do an operation check. Upon completion of installation, ensure all connections are tight and secure. Connect the hydraulic implement hoses to the quick couplers, on the cross beam coupler mount. Operate the hydraulics using two button joystick. After hoses and cylinders are full of hydraulic fluid, check the hydraulic fluid levels of your machine. If low, 
add hydraulic fluid. Do not use your new valve kit until it has been fully assembled and inspected for correct performance in accordance with the instructional manual. Enjoy your new LS Tractor third function valve kit. Brought to you by Summit Hydraulics.